Dark Alliance, this is Andrea and Savannah from the Den News team with the news for this week. On October 2nd through the 6th, Laura will celebrate our Spirit Week here at the Den. You can show your Den pride by celebrating and participating in the daily activities. Monday's theme is Bikers vs. Surfers. You can select Hawaiian or Leather Punk as your dress. The lunch game is Take a Guess, where you will have to guess the staff member from the baby photo. Tuesday's theme is Decades Day. 12th graders will represent the 90s, 11th graders will represent the 2000s, 10th graders will represent the 80s, and 9th graders will represent the 70s. The lunch game is Are You Smarter Than a Freshman? The homecoming court vote will start on Tuesday. Wednesday's theme is ce Celebrity Day. You can dress as your favorite celebrity. The lunch game is a pie eating contest featuring the administration team. Homecoming court vote continues. Thursday's theme is Lunches with a Plushie Day. The lunch competition is Grab a Cup. At 3 to 5, there will be the Battle of the Classes, where we will announce homecoming special guests. There will be concessions and refreshments. Friday's theme is Class Color Day. Seniors wear purple and black. Juniors wear blue, sophomores wear red, and freshmen wear green. There will also be a pep rally in the gym at 12.40 p.m. and decoration of cafeteria 2.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. At 7 p.m., we will have the homecoming game and the homecoming court announcements at halftime. The 2023 Largo Homecoming Dance will be held on Saturday, October 7th, 7 to 11 p.m. We'll the theme will be The Great Gatsby. Tickets will be $20 in advance, $30 at the door. Doors open at 6.45. Food trucks will be available on site, 7.30 p.m. to 10. The national theme of this year's Hispanic Heritage Month is Vive Tu Cultura. This year's theme encourages us to celebrate and embrace Hispanic culture and heritage. This week will spotlight Ale Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. In 2018, AOC made waves when she ran for office representing New York's 14th Congressional District and won. And the then 29-year-old became the youngest woman ever elected to the U.S. Congress. From the start, the Bronx native of Puerto Rican descent has openly spoken about working as a waitress and bartender to make ends meet. Her experience embodies the definition of the American dream and it's helped her connect with the people she represents. November 2nd is the end of first quarter, which means we have about one month to go. Be sure to be on your bet to be in your best in every class and complete all of your assignments. This week is National Band Books Week. On the screen are the top 13 most challenged books of 2022. During this week, there are celebrations to honor the freedom to read and spotlights on current and historical attempts to censor books in libraries and schools. The theme for Ban Books Week 2023 is Let Freedom Read. When we ban books, we're closing off readers to people, places, and perspectives. But when we stand up for stories, we unleash the power that lies inside every book. We liberate the different voice, voices that need to be heard and the scenes that need to be seen. The two books we will be spotlighting this week are Accountability, the true story of a racist social media account, and The Teenager Who Lives It Changed by Dashka Slater. Not funny. When a high schooler started a private Instagram that used racist and sexist memes to make his friends laugh, he thought of it as edgy humor. Over time, the edge got sharper. Then a few other kids found out about the account. Pretty soon, everyone knew. No one in the small town of Albany, California was safe from the repercussions of the account's delivery. Not the girls who targeted by the post. Not the boys who created the account. Not the group of kids who follow it. Not the adults who attempted to fix the things too often made them worse. In the end, no one was laughing and everyone was left asking, where does accountability end for online speeches that harm? And what does accountability even mean? 
The next book is I Am Not Alone by Francisco X. Schwartz. Alberto's life isn't easy. He's an undocumented immigrant from Mexico who lives with his sister, abusive boyfriend, but he's always accepted his place in the world until he started hearing the voice of a man called Captain America, a voice that wants him to achieve more, no matter what's the cost. Grace has it all. She has a supportive boyfriend, she's on track to be valedictorian, and she's sure to go to college of her dreams. Still, nothing feels right to her any more after the divorce of her parents and feels she needs something more. When Alberto and Grace meet, they have an immediate and electric connection. But when Alberto is present at the scene of a terrible crime, he becomes a suspect. And with his developing schizophrenia, he's not even sure he believes in his own innocence. Can Grace find a way to prove Alberto's innocence to himself and the world? This is a page-turning thriller and a sensitive story about mental health, love, and community that will appeal to anyone who has struggled with their place in the world. If you are interested in these books or any others, please be sure to stop by our school library and talk to Ms. Bissette. Here are the upcoming games of the week, October through the 6th. On October 2nd, we have a varsity volleyball game and we will play Oxen Hill High School at 6.30 p.m. And the boys varsity soccer team will play Crossland High School at 3.30. On October 4th, the varsity volleyball team will play College Park at Largo High School at 6.30 p.m. and the varsity cross country team will participate in a meet at Patuxent Park at 3 p.m. On October 5th, the junior varsity football team will play Crossland at Crossland High School at 6.30 and the varsity boys soccer team will play at International High School at Landley Park at 3.30. On October 6th at 7 p.m., Largo Varsity football team will play Crossland at Largo High School. This will be our homecoming game. Please come out and support our teams. Our quote for this week is, education is the passport to our future. Malcolm X. This passport will let you go places that you can only imagine, so do your best. That's all for this week, Largo. This is Andrina and Savannah. Be safe and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye, Largo.